go. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Siphon Filter. Uh, mission briefing, Washington Park, incoming from Benton. Mission redirect, CBDC has requested direct intervention and assistance. Your new orders are to locate viral bombs planted homing beacons wait for the arrival of CBDC and provide covering fire. The bombs are set to detonate within the hour. Terrorist resistance is ever. Agency intel reports that Anton Gadu is leading the park operation. Exercise caution. We have lost all communication from Jenkins' team. Okay, we will begin and joining us again today is Reaver of Jill Sandwiches. Hello. Hello. Okay. Leon, I'm on my way to the park. I have Benton send a team to pick up Mara Aramov. I left her wounded and unconscious in the Fifth Avenue tunnel, but chances are she's already on the move. Copy. And if he hasn't alerted FEMA, he better do it soon. Romer is going to trigger the main viral device whether or not the government meets his demands. I'm already on it. Did you get any information on the operations in the park? Tell Jenkins the smaller viral bombs are hidden throughout the park. Gurdu has the main one. Logan, this is Benton. I have a mission redirect. Jenkins' team has been eliminated. I'm putting you on located recon. Benton, what's going on? The CBDC's getting slaughtered. We need you to track down the viral devices and provide covering fire while CBDC agents come in and disarm them. Copy that. I'll give them cover as long as I can. Leon, how much time till the main device detonates? Less than an hour. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I like how Gabe just jumps up that gigantic wall there like it's nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, jumping out of the way of that moving car that he didn't pay attention to also makes me laugh every time. Those cutscenes were pretty impressive for their day. Yes, there was. This is another one of those areas that has some pretty decent atmosphere to it. Uh, indeed, and uh, the the mist as well was a good option, so it helps cover the uh, loading areas and the pop up. Yeah, that would be my guess as to why they put it in there. But kind of like Siphon, uh, not Siphon filter, kind of like Silent Hill, it works and indeed. gives the game atmosphere, which is cool. And and it gives us a break from all those tunnels being underground and that and the streets. Oh, yeah. I can't remember if I talked about this in the last video, but the game does a pretty decent job of giving you different environments to go in. It's not perfect, but it's still pretty good. Ah, yes. And there's always like a, a sense of urgency to these missions as well. Well, especially when you have a timer. Granted, it's a forgiving timer, but it's a timer nonetheless. Nag, nag, nag. Indeed. She's always got always something, got to, something say. to say. Save these guys. Disarm this bomb. <laughs> yeah, you'll find in this game, Gabe Logan is the one who does everything. But in future games, you actually play as different characters throughout the game, not just Gabe. Uh, like in the second game, you get to play... As a uh, Leon, in and you have to sneak through this uh, military base, and you can't kill yeah. any of the GIs, and you you have to like taser Ooh. them. Oh yeah. yeah, and I think you mentioned another mission as her from in the previous video, uh, another base that she sneaks into while sick. Ah, uh, the prison. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that is uh, quite good in that. And then in Siphon Filter 3, you play as a ton of characters, at least four, I'm aware of. Maybe five, but I can't remember. Yeah, the, the timeline's all over the place in Siphon Filter 3. Yeah, it kind of makes sense when you get there, but... It's not my favorite of the trilogy. Still good, though. Still good. Mm. Oh, she got fuzz now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm
take their trigger man. I do like the 45 you get on this. It's quite a powerful handgun. Oh, yeah. As well as the sniper rifle, I believe is... I believe you get I believe that, you get this, that mission, this mission, don't you? Uh, well, he has a sniper rifle as his default set out, but you get the night vision rifle on this one. Yeah, that's the one I meant. Uh, you're right, I did forget about the other one. That's right, there is two in this game. For variety. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, I took a hit there. Oops. Oops. I guess that I danger guess meter, was, meter was, up. was up. Aye, I guess it was. Yeah, we tried doing commentary for this video already once, and unfortunately, the game sound didn't come out, so I have a hard time remembering what we said and what we haven't talked about yet. Ah, uh, indeed. And we had some extra people on last time. It's just a shame they can't make it this time with us. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be on for later videos, though. Indeed. We've got a lot of missions to go with Siphon Filter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This game is pretty impressive for its time. I was thinking that when that first cutscene was playing at the start of the video, uh, those cutscenes were pretty impressive for their day. I think. The, the thing with the cutscenes as well, um, they, they wanted to have um, the characters have moving lips. So that's when you watch the cutscene, you can see the lips moving. Yeah, and the yeah, PS1, the PS1 that was one rare. Aha. Back to full M16. Nice. nice. The first game I remember seeing that did that was a game over here in the States. It's called Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn over in, I believe, the EU. It's called Chase the Express. Ah, yes. Ch good old all, Chase the Express. Yeah, all those cutscenes, the characters' mouths moved. They probably looked like puppets, but still their mouths moved, which was still pretty revolutionary at the time. Yeah. I think that came out a long time after Siphon Filter did Chase the Express. I want to say 2000. I think is when that came out. And uh, this came out, I believe, in 99. Yeah, uh, not long after Metal Gear Solid came out. Yeah. yeah. That being that definitely being one of the things I remember us talking about, about when we did this before. before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was sandwiched in between... Uh, Metal Gear Solid and uh, that James Bond game that came out not too long after this. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like a sp spy game sandwich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. You were almost, you were a, almost spy a spy game, game sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping when we get to the hedge maze, you can find this dude a little bit quicker this time. Yeah. I found him off stream straight away. When I was practicing this level of, of on Discord, just playing it. Yeah, and then we tried <laughs> to record this before. Uh, uh, we, had we had a lot of trouble finding it that finding, finding him that time. that time. I think you can think actually, you can sneak, actually up sneak up on him, him though. though. If, you if you know where he's going to come from, from, I think you can actually, actually kind of peek around the corner and maybe get him. But it's been a long time. And like I talked about originally, when I recorded this game originally. Because I plan to redo my playthrough at some point. I had the same problem you did the other day, where I had to run around that place forever to find him. Ooh. And also do the washing up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so the important question is who's killing more people, Max Payne or Gabe Logan? Oh, that is an important question. They both leave trails of bodies behind them everywhere they go. <laughs> is that the right? Yeah, that's the right way. Is the timer, the timer off, yet? off yet? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. All the bombs are disarmed. For anybody not familiar, I do have vision problems, so... That's why I'm asking him. That always makes me laugh how many 
dudes, bad guys have in games. I, uh, the they must uh, hire them out or something, you know, bad guys have us. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get a hundred for the price of fifty. Sweet deal. Highly incompetent at what they do. <laughs> so true. Damn, I missed him. I was off by half an inch. I think if you're not careful, you can mess this up and get the hostages killed. Yeah. Shooting that first one in the bother, it's uh, the second one where you have to be the careful. But you did it. Indeed. Which I knew you could do it. <laughs> now in the I second... saw you do it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but in the second game, you get to get double kill headshots. Ooh. That'll be fun to see. I forget if we talked about this in video one, but I do like in this game how you pick up ammo from enemies. I uh, do drop some good stuff, them enemies. Yeah, and I believe they drop ammo for the gun that they're using against you. Which is nice attention to detail. Leon, I'm in the middle of a gunfight and you're bothering me now. About interference? <laughs> I I wasn't aiming there and then I noticed like game aut automatically aimed his gun up towards that guy without actually me aiming at him. Because <laughs> this game does have a bit of blind fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why has it got to be blind fire? Uh, inclusive nifity. Right, right, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Leon, connection's complete. I'm tracking a mobile signal just north of you towards the Freedom Memorial in the Hedge Maze area. Check Romer's file and see who he's been using as trigger man. I'll bet these bombs are set with a backup mobile detonator. Got it. Jorge Marcos. I'm downloading his dossier into your comm device. Add him to my hit list. And you, of course, already know this, but for the people at home, be careful getting off of this thing because you do take fall damage. Alright, but if you do a roll, you can negate it. Ah. They call him the games librarian for a reason. Yeah, the roll messes up the game's physics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just the hedge mage. Maze. Alright. Uh, you might try going stealth here, unless you've already triggered the guy. Uh, he's somewhere in here. You have to kill these guys anyway. He was around here last time I found him, but he's not here today. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah, you got to start, start off and use, like, a silenced weapon, weapon and try to stealth kill those dudes, and then maybe you can get him without him running around like an idiot. Is that him there? I think I just heard him, but where is he? Alright, that's all the goons taken care of. I know there's a way to do it, I just don't remember what that way is. Alright, we'll grab that flat jacket. Uh, an interesting thing about the health mechanic on this game as well. If you've lost all your armor and your health takes damage, uh, it stays that way for quite a few missions until you get like one of the end cutscenes. Yeah, I knew it did that for the mission, but I didn't know until you told me the other day it does that for a few missions. It's like all the uh, interlinked ones. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing you can refill on a mission is your armor. Yes. And headshotting enemies with armor is the best way to get full armors. Yep. Yep. Although on the next um, area of the game, we do get a nice little gun that cuts through flat jackets like a hot knife through butter. It does. It does. My favorite My gun, favorite in, the gun game. in the game. Yeah, now we're playing Find the Dude. 
<laughs> yep, this was my experience the one time I beat this mission. I take that back. Must have been twice I beat this mission. It was one time I beat the game. Hey, you'll be beating it again when you do your run. I will. I remember, I think it was around this point where Joe was talking about all the blocks in PS1 games. Like how this, like how this hedge maze was just a bunch of blocks. Oh, there he is. Rolling also puts the danger meter down. Nice. nice. Right, we found him. So I ran straight into him. It's around that corner, you know what? I think you're going to do something cool here. Hey. <laughs> nice. Oh, and we missed the call from Leon. Oh well. Oh well. She'll yeah. bother us again. <laughs> Indeed, she will. Well, what's the point of having grenades if I'm not going to use them? Yeah, you're not going to be able to use them on the boss anyway, so you might as well use them here. Yes, because it's an instant game over if you use them on the boss. And I'm pretty sure after the boss, you get a new weapon loadout. For the next, for the mission. next mission. Actually, I know uh, you do because I remember the next mission. Ah, uh, yes, it goes back to the basic loadout. Yep. Yep. This game uh, is kind of done in stages. Done so the first, the first three first missions, mission, everything that was in video one, one is kind of its own thing. thing. This and, and uh, the, the boss are kind of their own thing. thing. Oops, I've triggered them, guys. What did you do? Did say you something say bad about, about them on the internet? On the internet? Uh, yeah. Ah. Ah. I guess the internet technically yeah, was technically a thing, was at, this thing at this point. Indeed. Uh, get around here, you little bugger. Now, the other sniper rifle has a nice little function. It tells you when you're aiming at the head. I thought this one did too. No, you have to line up the dot. Oh. But because it's so dark. Uh, it, this one's the preferred choice here. Oh yeah, I like how it like makes, how the, makes enemies the enemies glow. glow. Makes them easier to see. Yeah, and yeah, you can, and avoid, you can some avoid some combat, combat with this thing, thing which is nice. Which is nice. How you do the levels is completely up to you. Uh, he's got a flat jacket on that guy. Ah. Oh. You know what? Grenade. Grenade. Indeed. <laughs> so nice. To be fair, enemies, enemies don't hesitate to use them on you, so you might as well. Oh, yes. CBDC to get their team moving. Hurry, Gabe. You don't have much time. How's it? Huzzah! Huzzah! Victory! Victory! Nice thing about this game. Once you beat it, you can play any level you want. Okay, uh, next one, Washington DC Freedom Memorial, forwarded from Agency Intel. SpySats have completed a detailed analysis of Gadoo's body armor. It is impervious to all conventional weapons. Our armor specialists are working on it, but your agents may have to improve to find a weak point. Or improvise, sorry. Our demolition experts have noted that the use of any explosive device will trigger the viral bomb. So, you can't use your grenades. How drow. I hope Romer's paying you enough to die for him. Gabriel Logan, always the optimist. 
Look around, Logan. This hall <coughs> contains a mosaic depicting the entire history of your country's wars and aggression. We are about to make an addition to it. I don't think so, Gerdu. It is here. Gabe, Gerdu's wearing full body armor. You've got to find a weak spot. You can't win, Logan. Not with grenades, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this yeah, guy's an instant kill, so you gotta be careful. Alright, and if you use silence weapons, he can't hear you. Which is helpful, but sometimes they take a little longer to kill him. And he's coming this way. But I like including stealth in the boss fights. Yes, it is good. And uh, this guy was supposed to have a... Uh, Big midi gun. But uh, they changed it because of Metal Gear Solid's Vulcan Raven boss fight. I kind of like this one better, to be honest. That got some good damage on him there. Nice. Where are you, Logan? Oh crap, it's on it. What behind the wall? <laughs> that... <laughs> That's what happens if he catches you. Yes, Leon, we know. So yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. I know Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a game that came out much later, did a boss fight similar to this. That you could thankfully negate if you had the grenade launcher. Well, unfortunately, we can't use grenades. <laughs> nope. And I feel like there was another game we were talking about when we did this before that did the same thing. You would right. think he'd react to getting shot in the back. Yep. Even though I was shooting him from the side. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he moving? That way. He's got the worst fake French ac ac accent. Even worse than Jean-Luc Picard. Yep. Genuine Yorkshire, man. <laughs> It's done. No, oh, yeah. Nice, nice. I Don't thought it was done. It took a good beat in there. Uh, I don't know what happened there. It went a bit funny, did Gabe? Well, as long as you're not spotted, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Who got what <one> close? <laughs> That's something I don't think Metal Gear ever did, was put stealth into their bosses. Maybe they did, and I just am not familiar with it. Um, no, the boss fights were pretty loud. Vulcan ah. Raven, one, you had to fight him in a tank. That's right. Oh, shit. That was close. Ooh. I, I just um, dodged out of the way of that one. I don't know how right. he saw me. Right, he's heading that way. Gerdu, you're ger finished. Oh shit. Dodged. Yeah, the only problem with the sniper rifle, it takes a while to come out of that aim mode. Yeah. yeah. You could probably go with another weapon now, just because you've done enough damage to him. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's coming back the other way. And that fire doesn't go out, so it limits some of the places you can hide. Yeah. Not the taser, because 
unfortunately, is immune to the whole powerful taser. Ah, this, ver this video has been severely lacking in taser. Ah, I'll get some uh, taser kills next video. Excellent. Yeah, and he gets crazy with his flames when he starts shooting them across the room, too. Yep. Come on, I've I've must have hit him about fifty times. He should be dead by now. You would think. Alright, it's coming that way. It's always funny the bad voice acting mixed with attempts at accents in these old games. Move, Gabe, move, Gabe, move, Gabe. Oh, God. At least we get to the cool boss music. <laughs> true, true. Very true. Very true. Very true. Come on, a cap. Why don't you just use your machine gun or something? That might do it. 45. I can hear, hear you, but if it does more damage. damage. You'd have thought it would have took a lot of damage from that sniper rifle. Yeah, you would think. Oh yeah, this oh, yeah. place is on fire. Shotgun shells, Max. Oh, crap. I yeah, right don't want to get him. too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't watching where he was. <laughs> I was wondering if you knew what was going on there, but I figured you knew where he was. Finally. I think that's the longest it's ever took me to kill him. He's finished, Leon. Get CBDC in here. Tell Benton I need an evac. Copy that. Chris Bickerdo on the menu. Well, now I can, well, now I can well, say, Gerdo, you're Gerd done. done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to uh, call this one here as the end of this video. Next time, the Expo Center. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.